okay now we have the two repository uh, that is udemy devops training and uh, udemy backend api but we don't want to store the udemy devops training uh, repo so we click the manage repo and click this and delete the repo so only one repo is present udemy backend api okay so now if you are change anything you need to log in with the uh, another account that is the administrator account i am the administrator of privilege of this project setting if you want to know if you click the project and the team permission so i forget where the uh, team member configuration so uh, i'm that uh, so basically i am the administrator privilege for the repo so now uh, in our repo uh, if you click the branch there is only a one branch is present there and every developer is pushing in the master branch it's a very very dangerous so we uh, in the most of the software system there are only two uh, there are two branches present one is the master that is sync in the production and one is the dev branch that is the developer uh, when a sprint is started when a code is uh, uh, when his code is merged then it push in the uh, dev branch then goes to the ci environment i will show this uh, uh, in uh, sometimes later then it goes to the ci environment then uh, the dev is merged march to the master branch then it goes to the uat environment if uat environment everything is well and good then uh, it goes to the production environment okay so basically master in sync with the production so we need to create another branch that is dev branch based on the master and dev we make dev as a default branch yes set as set as default branch okay so two branches present there now we want to not anyone push any code in the master branch how can we manage this okay so we need to some policy setup so branch policy if i click go to the branch and then the branch policy so we need a reviewer uh, first of all when you are uh, pushing a code in the any type of branch then need any type of then need to reviewer review the code if everything is perfect then it goes to the then you can merge your work item okay so first of all i am uh, creating uh, the reviewer now require a number of uh, minimum number of reviewer i am calling it one reviewer uh, check for linked work item i think optional link work item means when yeah, uh, in your pr you also tag any uh, tag a work item that means a sprint item suppose if i click the devops udemy devops training board uh, board i'm sorry sprint you need to tag any type of work item in your uh, uh, pr okay so so i added it optional you can add it or uh, it's your choice comment resolution so if you uh, if you open this comment uh, uh, resolution that is very helpful because so if someone is review your work and he is commenting something suppose uh, you need to change some code if you are not uh, uh, resolve this commit that time the merge is not completed okay so required i added limit merge type uh, i add a, for master branch i added the basic merge okay so okay i added a uh, policy for the master i also added a i need also adding the policy for the dev branch anyone not directly pull pu directly push not in the master branch also the dev branch okay so after the setup is the after i'm adding the setup if i now change some code 
suppose I in the controller, course controller, I added a comment. Okay. Hello something. Okay. So stop this. If I now push this code in my file changes, suppose I change something, stage all and uh, push changes origin master. Okay. So add some comment. If I now try to push this code in the master branch, then you see what happened. Oh no. So what happened? No option taken as a uh, pushing uh, this remote uh, branch, pushing on this branch are not permitted. So you are not uh, permit to push code in the uh, this branch. Okay. So you can uh, block user uh, to adding uh, push the code in the master branch. But if you are, if I uh, uh, click the remote origin there is a uh, if i refresh fetch from origin there is a two branch dev okay so if i uh, so i am now first delete the my last commit so how do i delete a commit uh, git delete last commit git reset a uh, head happened okay so i added this commit now i am coming to the uh, previous portion of the code but i am not adding any policy in the dev branch if i move to the our uh, master to dev double click then it also get the branch from the remote for your local environment okay so in the dev environment i added the commit some commit done and the save this and now if i want to push this code some commit added if i push in the origin dev commit okay now you see the dev branch you can easily push your code because of you are not adding any policy inside your dev branch okay if i go to the repo open link in new tab and the uh, commit some commit added if i if you click this and you also get the information okay but in the large scale application yeah, without pr review you are not creating any of branch okay so we also need the uh, option for the dev branch also so i create a reviewer one reviewer uh, when the new commit required at least one approval uh, without approval you cannot uh, suppose you are approved uh, your code if you are not uh, add this feature that the mean uh, that the meaning is when a reviewer review and uh, approved your repo but after that after your reviewing if you change something that time the, the you need the reviewer re-review your changes okay so i click require at least one approval on the last iteration okay check for the linking word same i optional uh, comment resolution uh, that is optional uh, required limit march type i added this the squash march i will discuss this for later so i added this two feature this two uh, validation logic policy for both of the branch okay now i added this again control d save this and if i now trying to push this code in the dev branch uh, update another another commit push you see now you are not pushing uh, permission to directly push your code in the dev branch okay so it's not possible so we again uh, revoke my pre last commit so we know with the, this command is helpful so we remove the commit 
if you set up this uh, in uh, using your only this uh, repository branch so that is not very helpful so why it's not helpful because if i go to the repo again if i create another repo new repository and its name is for testing for testing i create another repo and copy this inside my source folder i create a new folder uh, no needed new folder delete uh, i if i open the terminal if i click git clone git clone and copy the git remote add or git clone uh, clone vs code cancel so i copy this and git clone and paste this repository is empty so for testing i add a new file suppose text document and abc inside the text document i added some text abc abc okay so now you i am i can easily push this git status oh, cd for testing uh, git status it shows the my file git add dot git commit hyphen m update suppose git push origin master so you see we can easily push code in the another another repository master branch so how can we solve this uh, so next video we creating a uh, pattern each and every repository when you are creating a uh, insight uh, uh, this organization uh, th this rules applicable for everyone okay for any type of when you are creating any type of repository these rules that means dev and master branch rules is for everyone okay so how can we set up this next video i will show you